What's up, what's up, what's up, my fellow creators? Welcome, guys. I hope you're having a beautifully, phenomenally blessed day. Thank you for joining me for a moment in Becky's House of Cards. Today we are going down the rabbit hole with a pick a card reading in why is this number following me? Why is it in my life? What's going on? What does it mean? So this is going to be for those of you guys just wondering, what the hell is this number? I um, am going to, this is going to be a little bit different than I normally do my pick a card readings, I'm actually going to draw one card from each of these, flip them over and you guys can choose from them and then we will shuffle during each reading, okay? I don't know why this is the way they want me to do it so I'm just going to go with it and then we'll learn a little bit more about this number and why you guys could potentially see it. This could be repeating numbers. It could just be one number that you constantly see. It could just be one number that's followed you all your life and you see it one time, two times, three times, a million times, however it is, guys. Okay, so it's going to get a little bit more about what that number is trying to bring to your life, like the information it's trying to bring to you, okay? So that being said, guys, please like this video, share this video, subscribe to the channel down below, set that notification bell so you always know when the next video does go live, knowing that that is a free way to support the channel as well as to connect me with your energy to get you guys out more resonating readings. If you guys are interested in supporting the channel further uh, by donating or getting a personal reading, that will be found in the description box below. I do just want to say thank you to anyone and everyone who has liked, shared, commented, subscribed, who has donated, is thinking about donating, or who has gotten a personal reading and who is thinking about getting a personal reading. You guys are truly amazing, and it means so much to me. And as always, I want to send a shout out to my OGs, my new Gs, and anybody that allows me your most precious asset, your time. As always, it's an honor, a blessing, a privilege being here, giving you guys these messages. And my prayer, as always, is that any of the videos of mine that you guys happen to watch fall upon your heart in a way that remind you to use your intuition, to use your discernment, to take back your power, and to make the decisions that serve your highest journey in this here, now, now, here moment. Okay, so let's get some dragon's blood going here, guys. We'll go ahead and cleanse the area. Open this space up to highlight and love vibrational energy. Give you guys some cleansing as well. You know, sending you guys out positive light and love. We all need cleansing here and there. So, I love you guys. Let's go ahead and get into it. Let me get this over here in the holder. Okay. So, source. What is the number that pile number one needs? What is the pile? Pile number one. What number do they need, source? Okay, make sure there's just one card. Okay, and what is the number that Pile 2 needs, Source? What is the number that Pile 2 needs? What is the number that Pile 2 needs, Source? Pile 2. Okay. What is the number for Pile 2, Source? Okay. <laughs> You guys get two that's wonderful i love i love synchronicities like that and for pile number three what is the number for pile number three source what is the pile number three number source what is the number for pile number three one card please the number for pile number three the number for pile number three source a pile number three number source whoa okay so it's actually this one and they don't want these <laughs> seems odd but it's the truth guys all right put these over here out of the way okay so for pile number one we have number eight for pile number two we have number two And for pile number three, <laughs> we have three. I can't. That's how I know that these are meant to be. Okay. So pile one, pile two, and pile three. Take a moment, guys. Take a deep breath. Think about the number that you're always seeing and whatever pile you're drawn to. That should be the pile for you. Again, keep in mind that these are general readings. 
If you guys do need more time, please pause the video and take as much time as you need. But I'm going to go ahead and move on to pile number one. So for those of you got, that got number eight. And these have some pretty extensive meanings on them, guys. And there's three cards of each number. But this is the one that you got. We'll go over what this one means, okay? Um, first and foremost, eight is definitely the number of karmic cycles, right? Things that you guys are repeating, but as well as abundance, right? So, Source, can you tell us a little bit more about why Pile 1 got number eight? Why is this number in their life? Why is this number in their life? For Pile number one, why is this number in their life, Source? Can we tell Pile number one? Why is this number in their life? Why do they get number eight? Okay. Pile number one. Why did they get number eight source? For pile number one. Okay. For pile number one, why did they get eight source? What do they need to know? Okay. For pile number one, why did they get eight source? What do they need to know? Pile number one. Whoa, okay, thank you. Bottom of the deck, we got the six of swords. Yeah, I'm going to leave it at the bottom of the deck. I'm not going to get too crazy into it today, guys, but we'll go over this in just a second. What do we got going on here? We have the five of cups. Reversed. The ace of swords reversed. Okay, and the seven of coins reversed. This is interesting, guys. So... First and foremost, your biggest goal when you see this eight appear in your life is honestly to think about your thoughts, right? You guys are having a hard time accepting what it is that you're meant to do in life. And so number eight has been chosen to follow you guys to remind you of karmic cycles that you've experienced throughout your life and not having enough self-belief. Uh, you guys definitely do have a surrounding around you, whether that's friends, co-workers, family members. However, they are usually the ones that you think of first whenever you guys are guided to go on to your journey. And because of that, it is keeping you guys from being clearly motivated to do what it is that you're meant to do. You guys have a beautiful gift to offer the world. However, you guys are fearful of that gift because it goes against everything that has been in your family's nature, in your circle's nature, in your friend's nature, in your work, or your work nature, whatever it is. And it has been keeping you guys locked inside of a box, worrying about what is everybody going to say if this is what I choose to do? And so number eight follows you when those thoughts are at their height. They're at the tip top of that situation. And I love that eight is indicative, indicative of both abundance and karmic cycles, right? Because you have this energy of reminding you that the karma that you're facing is having to overcome your doubt, your self-doubt, your fear of what others are going to think, your fear of what others are going to say. And pile one, one thing to keep in mind here is that damned if you do, damned if you don't. People are going to say stuff whether you do it. People are going to say stuff whether you don't do it, right? At the end of the day, though, they're going to wash their hands of it. If you choose to follow what they say, they're going to be like, why did you do what I told you to do? It's your life. And if you don't follow what they say, they're going to be mad at you because you decided to take one. It's like a step ahead in life over them. And their jealousy is going to come out. And I love this saying that I found this other day. Other people's success is not your failure. Right. And that's something that you have to remind yourself in this. It's like just because you might not be as successful as somebody else in this now moment or because you're not further ahead than game does not mean that you're a failure. OK, what makes you a failure is getting down and never getting back up. And, and it's unfortunate, but that's the truth of it is when you get knocked down and you stay down, that in itself is a failure because you're choosing to stay stagnant. When you can choose change at every one given moment, and I keep hearing balance, balance. You need to balance yourself out. See yourself from a place of light and love. See yourself from a higher love uh, energy. 
you guys do not think very highly of yourselves. And the reason you don't is because you're surrounded by people who don't think highly of themselves. And so you could very well be harboring other people's energies at this time, not realizing that it's not your energy, not realizing that you're actually an empath and you're taking on how everybody else feels and that you're a trigger to that because you guys are already a step ahead on the journey. Again, everybody's at a different place on their journey, but if you guys are higher minded and have a higher vibration than those around you, it's like a moth attracted to the flame. You're the flame, but these moths are like super moths. They're just like sucking up your light and that's all. And it's, it's leaving you guys in a very exhausted place, right? And so that's why every time you guys see number eight or you see repetitions of eight, it's reminding you guys that you're on a karmic cycle right now to really let go of this belief that you're not good enough for the ideas that you've been given, for the ideas that you have. It's almost like you guys get ideas constantly, feel like you guys are a very creative bunch, and you guys get ideas constantly, but it's, it's almost as soon as the idea comes in, you guys pull on the mental handbrake and say, oh, you know, somebody else is going to have to do that, you know, or, oh, that's meant for somebody else because I'm not good enough. And what your number eight is trying to tell you is that you guys have to believe in yourself. And I love that this is green in the back here because it's telling you you have to connect with your heart chakra. Right, Your heart chakra is what leads us in life. And if you guys are coming from a place of a closed off heart chakra, it doesn't mean that you're not loving and caring and kind. It just means that you guys could very much be people pleasers and you're more concerned about everybody else than you are of yourself. And that's leaving you guys closed off to your own higher self. And your higher self is the guide in your life. Right? However you look at it, it's like connecting with the higher self that you are the intelligence that finite intelligence that is let's see what this number eight has to say sorry guys this book is really humongous if you guys are interested in knowing what this is it's called numerology um that's just the name of the oracles numerology all right hold on okay so let's find out what eight is real quick here and then we'll go into this this direct eight so number eight so your strengths are your own power, your potential for self-empowerment, balancing, again, that balance, that coming into balance, right? Balancing of spiritual and material values. So this is perfect because you guys are hiding away from something that may be very non-physical. And that's what scares you so much on the journey because it's like coming into that energy of non-physical or believing in the metaphysical space. And what, what do I do when it comes to that? Sense of justice and beauty, the female aesthetic force of expression. Your challenges are letting go and reconciliation. You're on an emotional roller coaster, right? What goes up must come down. With memories and negative emotions regarding the past and freeing oneself from power games and being concerned about what everybody else is thinking, that's absolutely a power game. You've given your power away. So this is the symbol of infinity, the octagon. As a number eight is that, or a number eight that is mirrored in all directions and always becomes an eight, which is sacred geometry. This is the flower of life, the number of balance that connects past and future by present event, right? So again, very karmic, right? What goes around comes around. You think about that constant wheel, this up and down motion, right? So let's go a little bit further, guys. So you guys got the solution. Okay. Again, balance and in harmony. The eight here demonstrates its energy and creativity. What did I say? Y'all are a creative bunch, right? This can also both be seen in the smaller images that depict the recumbent eight, the lemon, the lemonis, the lemoniscuit, symbolizing the river of life. Learning how to flow, right? You have to learn how to flow. So let's go a little bit deeper. Yes, there's a lot of stuff in here, guys. This book is humongous. I'm not going to get too crazy with it. But here we go. Connective, connection of individual and collective values. What did I say? You guys are concerned about what other people are thinking about you. And you're concerned about how it's going to appear to those around you. And we have that connection of individual values with the connection of the collective values. 
creating a balance. Also balancing out your masculine and feminine forces. So you guys, I love these affirmations here. It says, I live according to my inner truth and always recreate my partnership that's with self. You have the wheel of fortune has eight spokes. And this is why it is always luck that what you call fate. Words of the goddess of fortune, Fortuna. Your chances, right? These are the good things. You have new beginning in work and private life. Changes in life. Always changing. You guys are always growing. As long as you follow those inspirations, you will always be growing. And honesty. You guys are very honest individuals. But again, your challenges are acting according to habit. What society is asking of you. You have that inner conflict, again, towards what society is asking you in the power games because you've given your power away. You guys are driven by your stomachs, and this type of emotion is a connection of the spiritual and worldly power. Your future-oriented acts with a focus on what is possible now. Reduction of dependencies, right? Don't be codependent. Don't depend on others. I trust my very own creativity and time, and I know that I will take the right decision in the right moment in time. Time is for me. If you are right, you can afford to keep quiet. If you are not right, you cannot afford to lose your quietness, right? So it's like usually those that are wrong are the loudest ones speaking in the circle. This is Mahatma Gandhi that said this. It's like, but if you know that you're right, just move silently. And it's like, if you're not right, you have to sit in silence because that's where power comes from. That's where true power comes from here. And so you guys are being asked to let go of this belief and find a true balance, right? And your balance comes from boundaries. They want me to show the seven of cups here. Your balance comes from setting these strong emotional boundaries within yourself and realizing that you guys are on divine course to your mission, it's not going to be easy. It's not going to be easy letting go of this idea that society has built for you, saying that you guys have to be a certain way or act a certain way or do certain things, right? In this time and moment, though, you guys are being asked to find that balance and harmonize your energy and know that there's a reason that you guys have to overcome this. And why is it considered a weakness, right? Because it's our greatest fears that become our greatest strengths as soon as we face them. And what fear will remain if you choose to face it head on? It won't. It won't remain. And so right now it's about letting go of what you think those people around you might say and come into that place of knowing what is right for you and following that intuition and following that guidance that you're being given. Whatever it is, an idea is an idea for a reason. No matter what you believe or don't believe in, an idea is an idea for a reason. Okay? So that's why you guys are seeing number eight. I really hope that this helps. I'm going to leave it there. With that being said, please like this video, share this video, subscribe to the channel down below, set that notification bell so you always know when the next video does go live. And until next time, go forth boldly, my fellow creators, and courageously find creative ways to rise above in life, laughter, and love. Until we meet each other again, peace out. I love y'all. Bye. So for pile number two, for those of you that chose the number two for pile two, this is going to be for you. Why are you guys seeing two? What's it trying to tell you? Um, the number two is all about dualities, right? The right and the wrong of a situation when in reality, and I love this depiction of this line here, there is no right and wrong. There is only the perception of, and a perception is a human, it's, it's driven by our emotional ego. Right, so let's go ahead and get some information. Actually, let me shuffle a few times for you guys. Source, why did Pile 2 get this number 2? What is it trying to tell them when they see number 2? What are you trying to tell them when they see number 2? What's going on when they see number 2? Can you please have information on why Pile 2 sees number 2? Pile 2 with 2. I love the synchronicities coming out today, guys. Pile 2 with Pile 2. Pile two with number two. Pile two with pile two. Y'all could be dealing with some other pile twos. Who knows? <laughs> All right. Thank you, source. All right. Let's see what's going on, guys. It's not a long reading. 
but I it was just something that was channeled to me. So let's see. Why does pile two get number two source? That's interesting because this came out in the reverse in pile one. Why did pile two get number two source? Why did pile two get number two? Okay. Why did pile two get number two? What does it mean for them, source? Why is this number in their life? Okay. Yeah. Okay, that makes sense. Why did pile two get number two, source? Why did pile two get number two? What does this mean for them? Why did pile two get number two, source? What does it mean for them? Okay. All right. You guys got more cards. So we'll go ahead and put this out like this. Interesting. Okay. Yeah. What do we got on the bottom of the deck? We have the Two of Swords in the reverse. <sighs> okay. A lot of eights, too. So you guys could resonate with Pile 1. You don't have to, but you guys could. Um, with the Two of Swords on the bottom, you guys are headed in a, in a good direction. You're moving towards a positive direction. But when Pile 2 comes up, it's actually a reminder to you guys to get yourself out there. Put yourself out in public to invite new people into your energy. I think this is a very hard it, a time for you guys. I think, again, it's, it's, it's about that right and wrong, the duality. And we'll get more into this, what that means, okay? However, it's like you guys... You guys have been through a lot in your life. You've had a lot of people who have cheated you. You guys have had a lot of people who have betrayed you. You guys have had a lot of people who have hurt you in a lot of different ways. And it hasn't been good. You know, you've had past lovers who have put you in third-party situations, who have, you know, made you feel like you weren't worthy of their time and their affection. And it had nothing to do with you. And you may have had friendships that puts you in situations like that as well, like chose other people over you. Like all of a sudden things were, things were great. Things were going good. And then all of a sudden they just disappeared and you realized they were hanging out and giving all their time to another person. And they just kind of like ghosted you and left you behind. And you were just kind of like what happened and they never could explain it. And I feel like you guys also had mother issues where your mom didn't give you guys the love and the affection that you deserved. You know, it was like, they were all doing the best that they could with what they knew how. And none of these people knew that they were hurting you the way that they did. And it has nothing about you guys communicating that with them at this time. I mean, it's something that you could definitely bring up now and communicate. However, source is telling you guys to let this go when number two becomes present in your life to remind you that it is okay to network and it is okay to bear your heart. It is okay to bear your soul. It's, it's okay to wear your heart on your sleeve still, even though you've experienced situations that have left you feeling as less than. This all puts you on the path to a positive outcome. This all puts you guys on the path to greatness. Okay, this all puts you on the path of your purpose. Okay, you begin with two, you end with two. And that's, that's a beautiful place to be at because it means that through duality, you guys are going to find your strength and through duality, you guys are going to find your place in the world. And it's through these hardships that you guys are going to have amazing connections in the future, but it starts with you and it starts with you guys putting yourselves out there and not being afraid to get hurt anymore. You can't let someone hurt you, you know? That's the thing. It's like you have to remind yourself, people don't hurt you intentionally. They just show up as they are and you choose to take that personally or you choose to accept where a person is and say, there's nothing I can do to change that, but that doesn't mean that I have to love that person any less. If they choose to backstab you by cheating on you, like you're in a relationship, that's on them. That has nothing to do with your internal worth. That has nothing to do with you as a person. That has everything to do with the choices that that person made. You know, it's like giving a child a piece of candy and telling that child to wait to eat that candy. You know, and that's the thing. It's like some children will wait and others won't. And what they do is with the children that wait, they get rewarded, right? So it's like, I feel like in your life, the reason why Source is having me bring this up is because in your life, all these people ate the candy first and you waited and you just wanted someone to wait with you, to wait in that, that struggle so that you knew that you would be rewarded, but you're still waiting to eat the candy. You're still waiting to enjoy that candy. 
And as you wait, it's like Source is building up a huge community behind you without you knowing about it. And it's okay for you to put your name out there. It's okay for you to put yourself out there. Because this energy that you guys have experienced in life is no longer a part of who you are. This is just something that you experienced. And it's like as you dig deep and as you realize this, you guys are going to understand that. And you're going to spiritually ascend beyond this into a place of complete unconditional love for other people it's like you love so much instead of giving your love to one person or a few people you're going to love everybody yes your circle may be small but you guys are going to love everybody equally so it's like if somebody in your circle hurts you or or does something that hurts you you're not going to be taking that personal anymore it's not going to hurt you okay it's still like i'm going to show up but i'm also not going to be the doormat anymore where People can feel like they can get away with treating me this way. You are actually coming into a space where you're teaching people how to treat you. Let's learn about this number two. So two as an antithesis, an opposition, to be able to choose, to differ, to decide, but to also split and to separate. Like you guys are coming up onto new timelines. The snake is a symbol of the female intuitive wisdom and seduction, antagonism and separation. Your strength is you, relationship, I, and a second I, and a mirror. Partnership, togetherness, community, duality. Everything has two sides or two poles. Connection of creative and logical thinking, uh, creological consciousness, vision and idea. But your challenges are doubt, dichotomy, split, indecisiveness, desperation, and too much thinking and analysis or na analyzing, right? And thinking, why did these people treat me this way? You just have to know that's just who they are. They can't change that. And it's not your job to change that. Uh, for mathematical energy, it's the line. It's one dimensional expansion from one point to the second where we're thinking it's two dimensional, right? But it's not. It's a one dimensional line. So let's see. You guys got the solution. I love that because number one got the solution too. So I love that you guys are getting the solution cards coming out. So for the solution, in this image, the two feels connected and integrates both aspects as in and as well as type thinking. So they hurt me as well as taught me to grow. They cheated on me as well as taught me how what, what I didn't want in a relationship. My mother didn't love me as well as taught me how to nurture and love myself. Do you see? That's a strength. It's like learning how to embody both aspects at one time, which is not a simple place to come from. Okay, let's get a little bit deeper here. This is the connection of the light and the darkness. Life, wisdom. Connection of opposites. Individual and spiritual truth. Connecting individual and spiritual knowledge. I fulfill my innermost wish wishes and dreams alone and together with others and thereby experience newly the adventure of life you guys are letting go of the past and coming up into a new direction a new life that is supported by others people you haven't known in the past people that may scare you that they're going to do the same thing as others but they're not because they're different people different situations if someone dreams on his own it is only a dream when many people dream together, it is the beginning of something new. And the Five of Cups, my Five of Cups, is all about the humongous benefits of networking. So your chances are to consolidate cooperation. So you guys will build cooperation between people because you guys are all about new communities and realizing your dreams and ideas. But your challenges are to overcome inner opposition, this energy here waiting and hesitation not doing what you know you need to do in a moment's notice you're a brain driven person and your type of thinking is partnership and cooperation you like creating fulfilling interpersonal relationships putting visionary and theoretical thinking into practice 
says, I use my mental and practical talents for the greater good. Not what we experience, but how we feel about all that we experience designs our destiny. Mm, I love that. It's not what you experience, but how you feel about all that you've experienced that designs that destiny for you guys. You guys are coming up into a place where you're no longer going to be sh like shielded or stuck because of this old pattern, these old habits, these old things that have been in your life. But rather realizing that this all had to happen in order to help you grow into a beautiful blossom and flower so that you guys could invite new, exciting experiences and people into your life. Has it been easy? Hell no. There is nothing easy about what you guys have experienced. But every time the number two comes into your life, it's a reminder that you guys have an opportunity to net network. So if you're seeing number two... Pay attention to opportunities that are going to arise so that you guys can network with people, so that you guys can connect with people. You guys are all about interpersonal relationships, and this is the solution to. So you guys have gone through the, the hardships. You guys have gone through the experience of it. Now it's about you guys finding the solution to what has happened for you guys and letting that grow and unfold. Right? So this is the reason why number two has been following you around. So the next time you guys see any amount of twos, uh, whether that's, uh, you know, like numbers put together that equal two or whether that's the number two being multiple times, it is just trying to tell you guys that you're here to build a new community in the world and you guys are going to bring a different meaning of what love is to the world this is about you guys communicating with people so we have this blue it's like a light blue color here right connecting with the throat chakra here this is about you guys connecting with others through speech so this is what i have for you guys pal too i hope that that helps please like this video share this video subscribe to the channel down below set that notification bell so you always know when the next video does go live and until next time go forth boldly my fellow creators and courageously find creative ways to rise above in life laughter and love until we meet each other again peace out i love y'all bye Okay, so for pile number three, for those of you that chose this card, the number three card, we have pile three with number three. Almost went across the board. Not all of them, but almost. Uh, this is for you. Three is all about creation. Also, it is about your angels guiding you guys. Um, in this one, it shows the pyramid up here, and the pyramid is a symbol of uh, sacred geometry that which we are built on the universe is built on sacred geometry you know you have the fibonacci sequence you have the the triangle you have uh the pyramids right these very strong structures in life and so there's definitely a strength that's coming from your pile so when you guys see three i feel like strength is the number one thing that you need to pay attention to where are your strengths at where are your hidden talents at and how can that how can that help you along your journey? So let's get some more information source. Why does pile number three see number three? Like, why is this number in their life? Why is it always following them? Like, why, why is it here? What do they need to know about number three source? What information can we give to pile number three about the number three in their life? The number three for pile three. I know you guys can probably hear the kids. I'm right next to a... Uh, playground so I have the windows open because it is a gorgeous day today and I don't actually mind the kids screaming and having fun and playing their stories out they come up with some really great creative stories that I love to listen to so I love watching kids play it just reminds you to connect with your own inner child so maybe that's something that you guys are needing to do at this time is to connect with your inner child not to run away from the things that you think are fun. Okay, they want two more. So, Source, why is Pile 3 seeing the number 3? Why is Pile 3 seeing the number 3? Excellent. Let's get it, guys. Something about your perspective. Okay, the hangman come out right there. Why is Pile 3 seeing the number 3, Source? What do they need to know about the pile? Pile number 3 for the number 3. Okay, they want this one. Okay. 
Why is pile three seeing the number three source? What do they need to know? Why is pile three seeing the number three? What do they need to know? Why is pile three seeing the number three source? What do they need to know about the number three? Okay. Okay. Why is pile number three seeing the number three source? What do they need to know? Okay. Look, I can't with you guys. The hangman came out again. So yeah, this is all about your guys' perspective. And the hangman is three. It's the 12 card and one plus two is three. We have the ace of swords underneath that with the moon all in reverse. Interesting energy. Um, you guys might resonate with one of the other piles. I'm not going to say which one, but if you guys were drawn to another pile and you feel up to it, you're more than welcome to check that out. Let's see what we got here. Wow, you got a lot of reversals out, guys. So, number three is definitely telling you guys something about your stability. You guys are fighting an illusion of stability right now. Um, there's something that you guys need to check out within yourselves about your stability and your foundation. So, what is your foundation built on right now? Is this for some of you guys, maybe you make a decent amount of money and you can buy and purchase anything that you want and you really believe that you're stable and secure, but you're not doing any internal work that has to do with your foundational beliefs, right? Because our foundation and our stability stems from our internal beliefs, how we feel about ourselves and how we feel about our space in this world. And the the person that we are and the person that we choose to be are two completely different things, right? And so right now it's like this energy, like you're choosing to be someone that you're not. And you guys are choosing to see things from, so it's not really conceited, but this is like very much from an emotional egoic energy. And it's all because of broken heartedness from, from lovers, from your mother, from people in the past. Yeah, and you guys have an opportunity to clearly communicate with yourself where you're at on your journey, where you're at and what it is that you're experiencing with. So I'm getting heavy Piscean energy here, and the only reason that I'm bringing up Zodiacs in your guys' reading is because both the Piscean energy that I have is in the reverse. And the thing is, is I feel like this is in the deepest, deepest low of being a Pisces. You guys are on the downfall and it's like feeling like you guys are at the bottom of the barrel. So when you guys see three, it's a reminder that you have guides, you have angels, you have help, whether that's internally or spirit guide, however you feel it, you know, even if you guys don't believe in the ether, in the spirit realm, that's okay. What this is saying is that you guys have the ability to solve any solution and to become a stronger person by making good choices in this now moment. And right now it's like you guys are running forward into this belief that your stability is all based on your money and that that's where you guys are going to be okay at. It's like, as long as I build up my empire, as long as I build up this, as long as I build up that, I'm going to be okay. I'm going to have everything that I want. And having material things is not stability because they can all, anything that be, that can be replaced is not stable because it can be replaced. But let's think about things that can't be replaced right now. You, breath, life, right? Family, friends, people around you, the circle around you. None of these things can be replaced. And this is the truth and foundation. So foundation comes from having a stable home. It comes from having a stable mindset. It comes from having a stable belief in yourself. And right now where you guys are at pile three, I don't feel like you guys are finding strength in self-belief. You guys are finding strength in outside situations, the things that are outside of you. So it's like every time something outside of you goes awry or it gets upset or maybe somebody is very deceitful towards you, or maybe somebody is, you know, trying to convince you of something that falls through. Your whole world gets turned upside down and you're just not seeing things clearly, which is depicted by these two cards here. And it truly stems from this 
belief of whatever it was when you were a child, there was a mother-like figure in your life that convinced you that your worth was tied to your bankroll. And that's not true. That's not true, Pile 3. Your worth is tied to your breath. If you have breath in your lungs, then you're a worthy individual and you're worthy of life. Nobody's here for no purpose. We all have purpose and purpose is most times for us to live and to be an example of life. And so you guys are definitely fighting that right now. Okay. And so there's a need to come into this creative venture and there's a lot of creative energy that's coming out here in your pile, but I feel like you guys are not being creative. I feel like you guys are more focused on the nine to five and that's all you worry about. You go nine to five, you go to work, you do your job, you come home and you do your routines, cook dinner, eat dinner, watch TV, play on Facebook, social media, go to bed, start all over again. In the morning when the alarm goes off, you wake up, you fix breakfast, maybe you work out, you know, like it's, it's very routine for you right now. And there's no deviation from that routine. There hasn't been any deviation from that routine in a very, very long time. And there's no place for you to bring in creativity. So it's like, what can you give up one thing, even if it's 30 minutes each day and do something new. You know, read a new book, read, read about self-help. Can you uh, venture out into nature? Can you spend time creating, like drawing, coloring in a book? You know, people don't think that coloring books are a part of creativity, but you know what? I got me a whole bunch of coloring books and that stuff. It really does help you come into a place of centeredness and that's opening yourself up to more creative ideas. Okay, so let's see here. We have number three. We're going to learn about three and why it's here. Number three is strength. Your feeling is we. Feeling personal and technical communication, action, communication from heart to heart, and the power to act. And I was talking about finding your strength, which is your internal power, right? You have to take power to act for yourself. Your challenges are destructive intellectual male communication and action dynamics, criticism, and manipulative language. So when we talk about the masculine, the masculine only knows how to show up to work to support, doesn't understand the creativity of the feminine, and the three is connected with divine feminine. In mathematical, you have the shape two-dimensional triangle connection of a polarity and a third point. So you have the holy affirming, the holy receiving, and then you have the magical, mystical, holy energy that is the transformative energy that connects, right? You have the Trinity, God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, or the high self, middle self, and lower self. This is connection of mind, body, and soul, and more. There's a lot more that goes into this. Okay, so let's see what you guys got. So you guys got the inhibition. Where are you in, inhibited at? Okay. It says, in this three, the image of inhibition lacks the mental willpower. This is the missing point of the large trigon. Inactive and blocked in expression. The three stands upturned. What was I telling you guys? Like, if you see down here, the three's upside down, right? And you're missing the top point of the triangle. So it's like just building a base on one part, but you're never building up. You just keep moving in a straight line. There is no expression, right? Blocked in expression. We we're talking about that being blocked in creativity. I love how these are all, oh, it just makes so much sense, guys. So much sense. And I love that we talked about the kids connecting with your inner child. You want to get creative, connect with your inner child, do the things you did as a kid. You guys will be surprised. So we have connectedness to the heart, the triad of life. You have connection of mind, body, and spirit. Thinking, feeling, and acting. Or action. It says, I communicate from heart to heart and at the same time create ideal connections with willpower to assert myself in self-centeredness. What you wish to kindle in others must burn within yourself. So your chances are creating stable structures and values in life. But your challenges are patience, action, conforming to practice, right? That's doing what society tells you to do and safely thinking. So like doing everything that you've done for a very long time. What did I say? No deviation from your routine. We have heart driven persons and their type of communication. So you guys are driven by your heart, how you feel. 
loving and supportive communication, action, unconventional and courageous decisions. You have team play and fair play. I say yes to my life. As a networking person, I act to my own good and to the greater good of others. It says it is about time we finish tuning our instruments and start playing a symphony. So music is something very powerful for you guys. Uh, music is, an, a create, is a creative expression. So maybe you guys need to dance. You need to sing. You need to just listen to music. Maybe you guys haven't taken time to listen to your favorite songs. What was your favorite song as a child? And go put it on repeat and I don't care if you guys play it a hundred times in a row. Like this is tapping into that creative energy, that inner feminine energy and reconnecting with that lost child that you think you had to get let go of when you became an adult. You didn't have to let go of them. It was just society said, oh, adulting means that we have to take life so damn seriously and we can't enjoy anything anymore because we have bills to pay and we have jobs to do. I'm sorry, guys, if I'm the bearer of bad news here, maybe this is good news. Who knows? But you guys were not created just to go to work and to pay your damn bills. OK, what happens when work becomes no thing anymore? Then what? Then what were we created for? Think about when people traded. At least they had skills. They were able to craft and create things so that they could get other things that were necessary in life. So you guys are being asked to come into a place of creation when you guys see number three. What can you create to get outside of this energy of being constantly blocked from yourself and your expression? Okay, so this is what I have for you guys, pile number three. I hope that this helps. I'm going to leave it there. But with that being said, please like this video, share this video, subscribe to the channel down below. Set that notification bell so you always know when the next video does go live. And until next time, go forth boldly, my fellow creators, and courageously find creative ways to rise above in life laughter, and love. Until we meet each other again, mwah. peace out. I love y'all. Bye. <coughs>